Hi, uh, this topic we will talk about how to migrate uh, DBPSV2 PLC to DBPSV3. So first we will start from the product outlook. So you can see this is SV2 and the SV3. So uh, from here we can see uh, SV3 has a built-in Ethernet port, a USB port and micro SD card. And on the top we have the uh, battery, uh, battery uh, slot. And for SB2 series, here is a uh, IS232. Uh, uh, so next page, we will show the difference of uh, SB2 and SB3. So SB2, uh, we can use uh, either WPL SOP or ISP SOP. For SB3, uh, we have to use uh, DI designer. Uh, for both uh, DIO, the quantity is same for uh, 16 input and 12 outputs. Uh, program size, so we can say steps uh, for SB2 is uh, 30k and SB3 is uh, 64k. Uh, communication interface already uh, introduced in uh, last page. Uh, we have uh, IS232 uh, for F5 and for SB3 we have a um, USB and uh, LAN port, Ethernet port, and also have uh, two uh, IS485 and uh, can open. So next, we'll move to the communication protocol for SB2. Uh, basically, the built-in is uh, only a mobile serial. <coughs> for SB3, we have the mobile serial, mobile TCP, Ethernet IP, and the can open uh, DS301. And SD card already mentioned. Uh, for SB3, we have them uh, move to the real-time clock, RTC. Uh, for SB2, we have the built-in uh, golden capacitor. For SB3, uh, we have to use the external uh, CR 1620. So this is optional. Uh, when you get the SB3, basically you don't have uh, RTC. So you have to purchase the uh, battery uh, external. Next will be the position control for SB2. We have a 4A6 uh, plus channel output is uh, up to 200 kHz. And SB3 uh, have the same hardware spec. And because of uh, building can open, so we can uh, control up to X6. Uh, this one is only for Delta uh, drive. Next would be the hardware config. So this one only available in SB3 and for others, SB3 will provide scope or uh, data log position uh, plan table. And the most important part is for the modules. So modules, uh, you can see SB3 still can support the uh, modules uh, that compatible with uh, SB or SB2 series. <coughs> and another thing that uh, most uh, customer would concern would be, uh, can I migrate the SB2 program to SB3? So as mentioned in previous page, uh, we use a different software. So uh, the conclusion is uh, actually we cannot do 100% migrate or without issues. So later I will show you an example, like uh, if we have some function block or we use the spatial register flex, Basically, we have to uh, modify accordingly, otherwise there will show error. Okay, so here we we'll move to the uh, program part. So this one is I call the test program. And here we uh, will use the uh, function block. This one basically to define the protocol of a serial port uh, come to. And this would be uh, if we use the function block. Uh, second part is uh, we can define this space according to the uh, communication protocol uh, with uh, spatial register and flag. So this one we define the uh, uh, the ball rate, uh, data means, uh, parity check, star bits, uh, ASCII, RTU, etc. So these two basically the same, and then uh, we give some uh, standard letters. Okay, so how to do the migration? So basically, when you open the DI designer, and we can select the source or project from either ISP or WP or so. And after that, uh, we can select the target 
local project and click uh, migrate and here you will see uh, you will show the one name so you just uh, click OK then select the model that we want to migrate so basically uh, we will select the SP3 series okay so uh, then we can go to the uh, program part so this will be the program zero and that's what we can see from here okay and here you will see uh, because uh, in uh, DI designer we don't have uh, this function block so this will show a bigger uh, close means uh, that one is not support Another part is uh, because we use uh, some uh, spatial register and this uh, spatial register is actually not uh, support in uh, SP3 series so you will see uh, when we do the migrate it will also indicate the error part uh, but as you can see for the standard letters uh, uh, it can convert uh, without any issues okay and then if we want to check uh, what is the error then we can actually uh, double click here or we can go back and double click the error part so that's all for uh, uh, migration uh, between uh, sb2 uh, to sb3